Hi there, I heard you're thinking about studying engineering, but you're worried you won't have a life or see the light of day ever again. Well, today on the Steminist Network, I've decided to bring one of my favorite engineering students ever, who also happens to be a NASA intern, to give you all the details about being an engineering student. And you'll want to stick to the end of the video to find out if free time is a fictional concept for engineering students or if it's something that's truly attainable. It's time for our special guest. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Mariana Antiveros. I am a college student from Florida International University, currently studying towards a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, which I will complete by fall of 2022. In school, I'm involved with a couple of different organizations, mainly the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers and also the Eco Engineering Club in Chef, serving as the president and in Eco serving as the vice president. Mariana, you are so involved in school, which I think is amazing. And just real quick, I know that like me, you weren't born here in the United States. So would you mind telling everybody where you're from? I was originally born in Caracas, Venezuela, and I moved here when I was 11 years old, so around 10 years ago. It's been great so far, and I really like having the opportunity to have moved here since then. I feel the same way. Moving here when I was younger has given me so many opportunities, and like you, I'm super grateful for them. All right, so now could you talk to everybody about a typical day in your life as a mechanical engineering student and as a student that's very involved in clubs and societies at school? A typical day as a mechanical engineering student usually looks like with classes in the morning at around 8 a.m. to 12. It all depends on everybody's schedule, but I'll give the example of my schedule last semester. I had classes from 8 to 12, and then I would usually do research work or peer career coach work within the Korean Town Development Office. And after that, I would usually have meetings with Shep or with Eco. And for example, with Shep, we always had a meeting on Thursdays at 8, just to make sure that we kept each other accountable and that everything was flowing as it should. And with a virtual semester, it was a lot easier to kind of attend different meetings and at least listen in to others that in person I might have not had time to make it. So it's been really good so far in that sense of a virtual environment that I get to see different clubs, different um, meetings that are going on. But essentially, as a mechanical engineering student, I had classes in the morning, then I worked in, in the afternoon, and then in the evening, it was more so meetings for clubs, companies that came into FIU came virtually through Zoom. But still, it was really nice to get to talk to them and continue that those relationships that we always used to have. Wow, your day sounds like it's filled with a little bit of everything, from classes to meeting companies that want to hire students just like you. That reminds me a lot of my college days. I was also very involved, and let me tell you, it was very busy, but very fun. Okay, on to the next question. Can you tell us a little bit about some cool experiences you've had while being an engineering student and an intern? I think the coolest day I've had so far as a mechanical engineering intern has been during my first internship. I had to bolt down very heavy blowers into a metal table. And I really, as a freshman, I really had no idea how to do that at first. I mean, yes, I had worked with my dad and my brother a couple of times on similar things, but not really with heavy, heavy things. So it was really nice to have that experience of figuring out how to do it and talking with the technicians, talking with other interns and just getting that exposure that my manager provided for me and he really was liberal in me doing a lot of different things. I took advantage of that opportunity to get out of my comfort zone and that really helped me with that. And yes, it was scary at first, but I think it was really cool because of that, because I did not know how to do it, for, what to do at first, but then with help and talking with people, it was really a great experience so far. Also recently, I think uh, the coolest experience I've also had has been when I received an offer to work at NASA. I had applied through their website, I had written my statement, and I was really hoping for the best. And NASA is a company that I wanted to work in for a lot of time, and it was really exciting to receive that offer and, and kind of get the experience that I will get uh, 
in space programs and hopefully in systems engineering and also in operations and managing projects, which I really enjoy doing a lot. So I'm looking forward to that. I will be doing it during the spring 2021 semester. So um, it will be very exciting. I am so happy for you, Mariana. That's a huge accomplishment. I feel that interning for NASA is a lot of people's dream. And honestly, I think between being a great student and going above and beyond in your leadership positions at school, they were bound to notice you. So right now, if you're watching this video, please listen to this girl's advice and her journey because she is doing it right. Okay, now this question is one of my favorite ones to ask when I interview people. What's it like being a Hispanic female in a male-dominated field? My background as a Hispanic female in a male-dominated field, I think really has served as an incentive rather than a barrier for me. Both my parents graduated as engineers and my brother is also an engineer. So for me, it's really exciting to be doing engineering and that I get the support from them to continue to do engineering. And as I go through my classes, yes, there's a smaller amount of females, but that to me is more of like, I want to achieve it and I want to show other girls that are just starting their careers that it is possible and that you can definitely um, bring on the challenge. And that's just really exciting for me. Yes, I love that. That's actually one of my passions too and one of the main goals of this channel. And it's to show other girls that they too can be engineers, doctors, or whatever they dream of being, regardless of whether for ages these jobs have been considered jobs that only men do. So yeah, let's keep working towards that. All right, now can you give our viewers some gold advice if they're considering becoming engineering students? To people who would like to pursue engineering, I would say if you can in high school, try to take AP Calculus or AP Physics 1 just to kind of advance your degree a little bit further and earlier. And that way you get to know if you're going to like it or not. I think it's really good to see that from the beginning. And a mechanical engineer really is a very diverse field. And if you're not sure if you like engineering overall, I think it's a mechanical is a really great way to go because it, you can go different routes. And I think that really gives you the liberty to choose whichever you'd like to go. And regarding um, advice from a junior mechanical engineer student at FIU, I think really uh, to enjoy the process as you go and to find things that you're passionate about. Also, one of the main quotes that I always think about um, and that I learned my second semester was the only source of knowledge is experience by Albert Einstein. And I think that really incentivized me into rather than focusing on getting all A's in my classes, which I'm always striving for, it's more so learning the actual engineering part of things and not so much um, worrying so much about the knowledge that I might have to do it or not. That really is such a great quote. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Do engineering students have free time? Regarding free time, yes, I do have free time and engineering students do have free time. I have tried my best to always take time for myself and with 2020 last year and how everything kind of stopped it made me realized that I should make time for myself. So really to do that, I bought an agenda and wrote down everything that I had to do on a daily basis. And that really helped me prioritize my time, make sure I'm not just doing Shep and Eco because that's not all that matters. Really school is what matters first. And I think that's really what overall has helped me with um, my degree so far. I couldn't agree more with that. I remember being in college and being pretty bad at managing my time. And then I graduated, I started to adult as I call it, and my responsibilities really just grew and I was like, how am I gonna handle this? Well, having an agenda and writing on my daily tasks has really helped. Okay, thank you Mariana so much for this wonderful interview. Thanks for all the advice and the information. I'm sure a lot of future engineers out there are gonna benefit from this video and I wish you the best of luck with your internships and your career. Thank you Alexandra for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity and I'm really grateful for it. If anyone would like to reach out or have any questions, please feel free to do so down here. Thank you so much again and bye-bye.